Hey guys, how you doing? This is Roger Holmes coming to you from my home here in, in Northern California. I wanted to cut a quick video on the topic of hyperlinking your text within your blog post. And um, I think that's important, even though a lot of people already know how to do that. I still think that's something that is, is important. And I think this can help uh, you know a lot of people, even if it's only one or two. Um, so I'm going to cut this quick video. So the reason why you want to do that and I'll give you some examples of of also uh, what to link to um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a second here so number one why you want to do that well your blog is something that people look at you know something that people see they have to see it in order to read it so you want to make that as visually pleasing as possible so we're talking about aesthetics so you want to make sure that your blog reads very well as long as I mean as well as I'm sorry providing you know valuable content to people you want to make sure that your blog reads well you want to make sure that it flows well so um, I think something like this doesn't necessarily add any visually anything visually stimulating so let's say your link is this my MLM company is better than yours dot com forward slash whatever your distributor ID is now you add that in there and I don't think many people are gonna click on that um, I'm just being I'm being I'm being facetious I'm being a little bit funny with that I'm having a little fun here but I think you guys get my point is that whatever your 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 company replicated website link is is not as attractive as something like you know that's included you know and congruent along with what you're talking about so let's take that out okay and let's let's look at this see what I wrote here hey there please check out the most amazing incredible outstanding opportunity ever click here for an example of what I mean by great so you're giving a call to action and it's congruent it's all within kinda the content or context of what you're talking about so what you would do is you would click highlight click here go here to this link right and then you would add whatever it is you know you're gonna add wherever wherever you want the people to go you would add them add that link here so let's just say HTTP let's just say animoto alright dot com since and it has nothing to do with what the, the, the post this is just all for the video um, and what I do is I add an extra layer of call to action. I always say get uh, space access now. And then I always make sure this box is checked. I want people to stay on my blog. I don't want them leaving my blog to go to another website. Okay, now this is hyper hyperlinked and it's clickable. Okay so and it's within the flow of what I'm talking about it just it just is congruent it's, it, it makes sense everything makes sense and so what you want to do next um, is you want to well what I want to do next is talk about some examples of what you can link to now I gave you one example Animoto is basically a video um, uh, creation software uh, a platform that you know they have a free version they also have a paid version that you can use um, and I'm not promoting that I'm just giving you an example of what I did um, um, another example is um, you can link to another blog post on your blog which is great for SEO purposes um, as, as a matter of fact I would suggest you do that for SEO purposes that's one of the great things that you can use uh, to boost you know your your rankings and stuff like that but um, also you want to keep that congruent so um, I also see what I wrote here I also wrote a blog post that has some great tips on blogging so what I would do here is hyperlink blog post well first I would go get my my, my, my link copy it from the URL this is a blog post URL C copy that go back here that's that's already uh, highlighted go here okay copy that link in there same thing I would just put blogging tips boom same thing make sure that that box is checked add link 
boom then when you mouse over that what do you see blogging tips when you mouse over this what do you see get access now okay now I would also do the same here um, boom blogging tips boxes checked boom alright uh, you can do this with many things you can link to videos to YouTube videos you can link to capture pages if you have other tools that you have found useful uh, again congruency is important um, and you want to keep it visually stimulating so you want to keep it you know flowing and you want to keep it within context of what you're talking about you can link to anything that you want to um, so again I want to keep this video short but just a tip um, to help you guys out a little bit and I'll be bringing out some more training videos here in the coming days I've uh, got a lot to share with you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next video alright peace have a great evening